Hey, what's up guys? How we doing? So, uh, still making videos on the Giants World, World Series. Uh, we're going to look at Hunter Pence. Had an unbelievable uh, series, swung the bat really, really well. When he swings, he's got a swing that probably, if you go around and talk to most coaches at younger levels, they would never teach to do a lot of the things that he does. But I actually feel uh, one of the reasons he's so successful, he's able to create so much bat speed. Um, he's able to have a swing that stays in the zone a long time is because of a lot of the things that he does. And I think that um, younger players can benefit if they start to understand a little bit about what he's doing and why he's doing it. So we'll just kind of play this and I'll show you him as he goes through. Um, and we're not going to break down his entire swing, but when I was watching this, just one thing that I noticed right off the bat that I wanted to show you guys is the amount of movement towards the pitcher that he has, the amount of linear movement that he has in his swing. Again, something that a lot of coaches say you don't want to do this. You don't want to let your head move. But, again, watching enough great hitters, um, most hitters, almost I'd say 99.9 .9 hitters, their heads move during the stride phase. Now, once they land and their front foot lands, then the head doesn't move forward anymore. But almost every hitter moves. Um, and by doing it, they're able to do a bunch of things. They're able to, you know, it gives them something to hit with. Um, being able to transition that linear move into a rotation move gives you a little bit of something to hit with. And just like I always say, in any sport that you see, in any action that you see, there's always going to be a, a movement into the ball. So, um, you know, when you throw, you're going to make a, a movement towards whoever you're throwing to. Um, if you take a slap shot, you're going to make, you're going to take a movement towards uh, the net. Um, a quarterback is going to stride and move towards his target. Every sport does it. And while they're doing it, they're setting their hands back. So a uh, pitcher strides and sets his hand back. A quarterback strides and sets his hand back. A slap shot. Guy starts to move into the puck and towards the net and sets his stick back. Um, so you're going to see all the same principles when you watch hitters. Um, so first, let's just slow it down and kind of look at the move that he makes. So he lifts, he lifts his leg, and you're going to see... And what I usually do is watch the background, watch that pole that's just past his left shoulder. As he lifts, you can see he's already started to move, and he's going to move his body. He's going to keep his head in the center of his body, but he's going to move his body towards the pitcher, striding as straight as possible. He actually he starts open. He actually strides slightly open, um, but he's moving himself back towards uh, the pitcher. And I talk about you know direction and, and the momentum of your stride. Um, you know, you want to stride, you want to make sure your body's moving back towards the pitcher and you're not, when you do this, you're not diving into the plate, uh, which a lot of kids do if they have a little bit more movement is they dive in and then it make, they put themselves in a really bad position. So you want to move yourself, um, towards the pitcher. And if you actually stop it right here, I mean, it looks, it looks a little bit like he is a pitcher, actually, the way his leg kick is and how he's going to start to move his entire mass towards towards the pitcher. So his center of mass, if you follow his belly button, it's definitely moving a lot towards the pitcher. And again, this isn't for everyone, but I will say that every hitter does it in some way. Even guys, even Albert Pujols, who back in the day took almost no stride, he's still at his center of mass, the middle, you watch his belly button, it still gains ground towards uh, towards the pitcher. So that's the first thing I wanted to just talk about. The second thing is being able to, when you move yourself like this, it allows you to get that stretch that I talked about before, where you're getting separation between your 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 top and your top half and your bottom half. As the stride foot is moving out, you can see that the hand setting back. So he does this little pump. He pumps the bat down. Again, people say, "Well, you can't pump it down because you'll never get it back up." and um, you know, it's a hitch in the swing and you'll be under the ball and all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. He does this because this is, this is his stretch. This is his separation. This allows him to separate his bottom half from his top half so that as he's moving out, he's setting back. Like I said, in any sport, you move out as a pitcher, you set your hand back. You move out as a quarterback, you set your hands back. You move out as a slap shot, you set the stick back. You, you're a boxer and you're going to punch someone, you set your hand back happens everywhere. It's an athletic move. It happens in hitting too. Just, you know, sometimes hitters get this coach out of them, but the good hitters do it. Um, so 
where was I going to go next? Um, right, so with the pumping of the bat, so he pumps it down, but now he sets the hands back as he moves forward. And you can see by setting it back as you're moving forward, timing is really important um, in this move. Now the lower half, the bottom half, is going to start to be able to work. The hands are actually still setting back a little bit. So you can see, if you start here, you can see the back knee start to drive down right there. This move right there. Knee starting to drive down. Hands still setting back. Back, back. So here's two clicks. Hands are setting back. Elbow starting to drop in. So elbow and knee are working together, but hands are still setting back. That's what gets you that lag in the swing. That's what creates the whip. That's what lets the bottom half work. Then the back comes. So um, just an interesting video again. Saw 100 Pence. I'm a big 100 Pence fan, I think. Um, you know, everyone always talks about, oh, 100 Pence doesn't look pretty when he's doing his stuff and all this, you know, and everything. But, you know, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Um, he's able to generate a ton of bat speed, and he's got a good hand-eye coordination. I mean, he squares the ball up. Helping him do that is his bat path. I mean, his swing, his swing mechanics are really, really good, and he's able to stay flat through the zone, and he just does a bunch of stuff. He's got a great swing, so that's why he's successful. And it's because of a lot of things that you see him doing here, although it, you know, his swing's not, maybe, maybe people don't think it's the prettiest. It's very violent, and maybe his beard isn't the prettiest, and maybe his hair isn't the prettiest, and... You know, everything else about his game, but he sure as hell gets everything. He gets the job done. He can. He's done an unbelievable job this entire series. So let me know if you have any questions uh, in the comment section below. Uh, share the video. Send it to all your friends. Like it. Subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. And we will talk to you later.